Hello class, this is section 7.5, and in this video we are going to discuss higher dimensional analogs of the Lagrange identity and the Green's formula. So in higher dimensions we are just dealing with the Helmholtz equation, we're not really going to talk about the more general term the Louisville equation. So we can just set our L to be the Laplacian. However, it would still be nice to be able to tell when this Laplacian operator is self-adjoint, and that's where we need a Lagrange identity or a Green's formula. So let's derive one. You might have remembered from multivariable calculus that the Laplacian is the divergence of the gradient. Or you can write it down in terms of uh, this operator dot product with the gradient operator u, this term, u gradient v. So we have a product rule for the gradient as well, and we differentiate the first part first. So that's u, so gradient u dot with gradient v plus u gradient dot the gradient of v. This is going to be gradient u dot gradient v plus, and as we know, the Laplacian is the divergence of the gradient, so this is just u Laplacian v. And we can come up with something similar if we switch v and u, so divergence of v gradient u is going to be equal to the, plus, the gradient of v dot the gradient of u plus v times Laplacian of u. Let's call the first equation 1 and the second equation 2. We can then subtract 1 and 2 to obtain the following equation. So when we subtract the left-hand side, we get the divergence of u gradient v minus v gradient u, and we can factor out the divergence that way. And we know that the gradient u dot gradient v and the gradient v dot gradient u is the same. So subtracting these term and that term will get u just 0. And we subtract the last terms, we get u Laplacian of v minus v Laplacian of u. So this is indeed the Lagrange identity that we want. However, let's just switch it over to the other side since that's how the book does it. So we have u Laplacian of v minus v Laplacian of u equals the divergence of u gradient v minus v gradient u. And this is our Lagrange identity for the Helmholtz function in higher dimensions. Now we want to obtain a Green's formula, and that's just a way that we can calculate the self adjointness just based on the boundary values of the functions in the region. And to do this, we are going to need to use the divergence theorem. Now you may remember that the divergence theorem relates the divergence of a vector field on, an, on a region with its boundary values. This is exactly what's going on. And let's see what we can do here. And uh, you can think of the divergence theorem as one of the multi-dimensional analogs of the fundamental theorem calculus, and that's exactly how we're going to use it. So we are, let's try to integrate the Lagrange identity in our region. In the left-hand side, we just get uh, exactly the same thing just integrating it with uh, no fuss. And we do the same thing on the right hand side. And this is where we want to use the divergence theorem. Our a is going to be this thing over here. And we notice that it says the divergence of a is equal to some calculation on the boundary. And we have this boundary integral of uh, u gradient v minus v gradient u. And it turns out that this means that we are done. So this is the Green's formula. And the point of this is that we are able to tell when the Laplacian is self-adjoint. So remember, it's self-adjoint when the left-hand side is 0. But you can determine this just based on doing this boundary integral on the right-hand side. So we need to figure out just when the boundary integral is 0. So in other words, we can tell when the Laplacian is self-adjoint just based on the boundary conditions of u and v, which is exactly the same role that Green's formula had in the one-dimensional case.